Welcome to Ruby Thursdays, Better Than Airbnb. This is Unit 2, Lesson 4, Authorization with Pundit, Part 1, Install Pundit and Write Spec. I'm your host, Melissa Wanish. During this course so far, we have been using user stories. Sometimes there are chores that come up that maybe don't quite fit into a user story, so we're going to call that a developer chore. You could make a case that this could be a user story, but I'm going to go ahead and call it a developer chore. For this chore, we're going to ensure the correct member is editing his or her own profile. First, if you are new to Pundit, Pundit provides a set of helpers which guide you in leveraging regular Ruby classes and object-oriented design patterns to build a simple, robust, and scalable authorization system. I've actually rolled my own authorization system before, and it was a lot of including special methods in each controller. Well, now Pundit puts all of those policies in one location so you can look at them all at once, and there's then less code in your actual controller. Want to keep those controllers skinny, right? If you want more information about Pundit, go ahead over to the GitHub repository. Let's install Pundit. First, you just need to include it in your gem file and then bundle. Then we will include it in our application controller so that it can be in all of our controllers. We'll just include Pundit at the top. Then we're going to run the generator, Rails G Pundit install. It creates the folder where you would keep all of your policies and then creates a general application policy that we'll go over in a future lesson. Opening up our app in our text editor, head on over to gem file and we'll add it directly after device, paste that in and save. And now we will run bundle. You may want to create a new branch for this work. I've called mine add pundit and there we go. It's installed. Now we head on over to app controllers, application controller, and we'll paste in that line just above protect from forgery and save that. Now we'll run the command to install pundit. And there we are. As always, we are going to start with a spec, with a test. So we're going to write a profile policy spec. And Pundit actually comes with a couple of RSpec helpers, including a method called permissions that allows you to check to see if someone with a certain logged in or other state can access what they're supposed to. So we're going to have a couple of contexts. The first context is for a visitor, as in someone who is not logged in. We're not gonna let them see anything about profiles. It does not permit a plain old visitor to see the profile. Next, we have a context for member viewing other members' profiles or creating a profile. They're logged in and they can see either a list or a particular profile and they can create a new one, but they're not allowed to edit or update or destroy another person's profile. Finally, we have a context for a member editing their own profile, saying, yes, that person created that profile so we can edit, update, and destroy. Back in our text editor, let's create this awesome spec. So we'll go to spec, and we don't have a folder for policies yet, so let's create a new folder specifically for policies. It's all organized, and now we'll create the new file and we're going to save and name it right away. It'll be profile policy spec dot RB. And now that we've gone through that spec, we will just include it in this file. So it's on a couple different slides, so it'll take you a little bit to go ahead and copy paste each of these sections into our spec. So everything about profile and who's allowed to do what is in one spec. Next, we need to tell our spec to use those pundit methods. So we will require pundit our spec in our Rails helper. And then we're ready to run the spec and see what our first task is to make it pass. Let's go ahead and open our Rails helper up and we just include that new require line and save. Now in our terminal, we'll run our spec spec policies. There's only one, so we'll hit P and then tab. And we're running it to see what happens. Drum roll. Okay, it failed. Exactly. Yep, it should fail. Let's go see what's up. And it's showing an uninitialized constant profile policy. That's because we have not created a file yet for the profile policy. We'll do that in the next lesson.
Thanks so much for watching this installment of Ruby Thursdays Better Than Airbnb, a course where we're building an app that we think is better than Airbnb because we're making it. And right now it's for free, so be sure to keep up on all these videos. To make sure you don't miss any, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting that big red button right there. And if you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to sign up. There's more fun in the emails, so go ahead and sign up. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.